Okay, Ricky Quinlan here guys. So I want to shoot you this quick tutorial on combining your images using what's known as CSS sprites. It's basically, for those of you that are watching this on my YouTube channel and you've not read through the blog post, it's to do with optimizing WordPress, okay? So getting it faster and getting pages to load faster, basically. So what we're doing is we're actually, just to take you in the other window here, we're actually looking at getting our Google page speed up here and our Yahoo Why Slow page speed grade up as well, okay? So for those of you that are interested, I'll leave a link below this video anyway and you can go and check out the actual blog post. But for those of you following along in the blog post, what you need to do first is come to here, spriteme.org, okay? I have left the link in the blog post there for you. And then you're going to need to install this here onto your bookmarks toolbar. In fact, let me show you how to do that quickly. All you do is left click and hold and drag it up there and let go okay and that installs it onto your bookmarks toolbar. Also what I recommend you do, I won't for the purpose of this video, but here you'll see try the sprite me demo. It'll be worth you taking five minutes just to click that link and it takes you through the process of how it works and you'll learn more about it that way. But what we'll do, we need to, the reason I wanted to shoot the video is because we need to go into our back end of our WordPress blog and do some basic CSS configurations, okay? And that's where it gets a little bit complicated. I'm no programmer and it took me a while to wrap my head around this. So we'll go through this step by step together, okay? You can just watch over my shoulder and repeat the process basically. Okay, so first thing we need to do, I need the URL for my actual blog. So this is the one I'm working on. Waytopia UK. If I open a new tab and paste that in. Okay, so once you've got your site loaded, you just click on this Sprite Me icon, okay? And you'll see this is loading here on the right, okay? So again, I'll leave you to go through the demo to work it out more, but what we need to do is click on Make Sprite here. And then if we go to Export CSS here, look, left click there. Okay, now obviously this can look a little bit overwhelming, but don't worry, we'll go through this step by step together. First thing you need to do is this is just a temporary image they've given you. It's not going to be hosted online forever. So you need to download that. So I'm going to save that to my desktop. Okay, Sprite Me 1, save. Let me just check that. Yep, yeah, so that's on my desktop. Uh, come back to here. Now what we need to do, sorry if I go to my website, we need to go to media and upload that image into our library, okay? So it's hosted on our blog. Okay, let's go back to desktop. I'm just going to drag that into my WordPress media library. Okay, next we need to just click edit here, okay? And now we want to grab this file URL. So highlight, again I copy. I'm going to open Notepad. I suggest you do the same because we're going to be copying this a lot, okay? And just minimize that for the moment. And then the next step is to go to Appearance and then come down to Editor. And obviously this is going to take us into our, our core files basically, okay? Now it will load it by default, your style sheet, your style.css here, look. But just to be sure, just come down and just check that you're in your style sheet, style.css. So this is for your theme, okay? Now basically we need to get in here and make a few configurations, but over the last few days I've been I've been doing this a lot. I've got this down to a fine art and I've got a couple of shortcuts to show you. So don't be overwhelmed by all this coding, okay? So what we need to do, come back to your sprites. Now what they're telling us is that in our CSS, where this tag is, we need to replace that, in, that uh, URL, sorry, and we need to replace it with our own URL. And we also need to include this background position. So I'll just show you rather than speak about it. It's obviously better to learn that way. What I want you to do is copy this, okay guys? This is an awesome shortcut I found out. And then come back over to your editor and then press click inside it and then press Control F on your keyboard. Okay, now you'll see that it's come up the finds function. Basically, you can search through here. So if we paste in that bit of code, now straight away you'll see it's highlighted it. So I know this is the area that I have to change if that makes sense. So what we need to do now, see where it says background URL, you're going to highlight that. Make sure you stay within the brackets there, look. And then you're going to grab your sprite image, okay? So I copy that. 
and I'm going to replace that so paste so obviously I've replaced the URL okay next you need to click at the end of the line and you need to create a new line and then bring that into alignment and again back to your um, CSS thing here that Google gave you or that spriteme.org gave you and copy that background line there okay again back to your style sheet and you're just going to paste that in now that's pretty much the process okay you just need to keep rinsing and repeating now I'm going to take you through all of these here so we'll do a few more together but that's the system there so again I'm copying there okay and again down to the find function here and control V on my keyboard to paste that in and you'll see straight away it's found it for me again okay so here's the background URL I need to change again so again I'm going to go to my notepad I'm going to copy my URL I'm going to paste that in there I'm going to go to the end of the line I'm going to create a new paragraph I'm going to bring that into alignment back over to here I'm going to create the background or copy the background position back here control V on my keyboard to paste in okay again back to here now I need to copy this tag so copy and down to the find function again control V on my keyboard control V is paste by the way guys just a shortcut there and you'll see it's found it again so here's the background image I need to do again so basically what this is doing is it's taking all these separate images and it combines it into one file image so when people load your web page they're pulling a lot less resources basically okay less HTTP requests so it's better for your page speed loading times if that makes sense again go through the tutorial at spriteme.org and you'll understand all this better but it's worth doing guys okay anyway copy let's try and race through this now oops oh, I've done the background position there it's gone wrong okay so I'm at nav1 let me just highlight that Okay, um, oh yeah, I need my URL because I'm talking and doing it at the same time here. Okay, so I paste that in now. Again, I create a new line. Back over to here and background position. Oops. Loading composer as well now by accident. It's all going wrong. Right, let's close that. Okie dokie, so I was up to, right, I've done nav1, so I've done that one, I need now I need to copy this tag, I copy that again, back over to my style sheet, I paste that in there, it's the one below, I can see it anyway, it's there, look, but just to show you the process, okay, again, highlight that, I need to go and grab my URL, I copy that again, minimize notepad, control V to paste that in, click at the end of the line, create a new paragraph, and back over to here, get my background position, Okay, copy and control V on my keyboard, paste that in. Okay, we're coming to the last couple now. Okay, this is actually, I will show you this as it goes because this is where it gets even more complicated. But as far as the style sheet done is, or as far as the style sheet goes, I'm done with that for the moment, okay? So I can scroll down and click on update file. And now what you want to do is just go to Waitopia or whatever your site is open it in a new tab and make sure everything looks all right that no images are out of alignment on your theme okay so yeah mine's come out all right there I've actually lost a line here I have to delete that one and change it back I know this from another um, I've already done this on the same theme so I'll change that back afterwards anyway that's not a problem but what I'd also suggest guys I haven't done there you should always back up your database anyway before doing any core configurations but before you do any of this in case you do make a mistake just select like right click select all right click copy and make a backup copy into a notepad file okay let me select all and clear all that and if anything does go wrong you can go back to square one and start again okay so let me get rid of that anyway I'm pretty confident at doing this but I recommend you do that just to make sure you've got a backup in case anything does go AWOL okay what it's saying here now is the WP SEO booster business card if I go back to my website this is actually a plugin I use for it's a social SEO stuff for the I forget what you call it now 
the Google snippet stuff and that you know so this is a widget I've got going on here and they're saying that they can do the CSS in here as well now unfortunately it took me a while to work this out as well you you're not going to find that in your style sheet here okay because this is to do with the theme so if you do get this I'll show you a quick demonstration of what you need to do open up your FTP client is the easiest way connect to your server okay down to public underscore HTML uh, find a website you're working on and then we need to go WP content plugins I'm looking for the SEO booster plugin which is there okay I need to go to where's the CSS it includes again this is going to be different for you depending on what plugin you're using but I'm just showing you the process that I do okay uh, CSS I know it's in this one because again I've updated the images for this or I've updated the style sheets for this before so I need to download this to my desktop okay now this can be a little bit tricky guys you need to actually take the time to find where it is in the first place then obviously once you've found it you can incorporate the changes quite easily again we're going to go through this step by step now and I'll show you so with this I need to edit it so I'll open that with notepad plus okay so this is the CSS style sheet one of them anyway for this plugin okay so Google's telling me now or sorry spriteme.org I think it is run by Google I'm not 100% sure on that but they're telling me now look dot WPS SEO booster business card dot address change these around again okay so I need to look for this tag in this style sheet here so business card address that's it there so again look URL stay with inside the brackets back over to here you're gonna copy your spriteme URL again I'm going to paste that in again we need to create a new background so back over to here let me just double check that WP SEO booster business card dot address yeah that's right again I need to incorporate the background changes so back into my notepad here and control V on my keyboard and I'll just do the last two to show you guys so this is the same but it's got email on the end so let me find that in the style sheet and that's here look so again highlight make sure you're within the brackets um, I need my URL now I might be making this look quite easy just take your time with it okay guys I've done a lot of this over the last few days so it's kind of become second nature to me but just make sure you incorporate your changes right and again I would make up a, if you do anything like this CSS changes to plugins or anything make sure you make a backup of the original or if you've got the plugin you'll obviously have the original style sheet in there anyway so you can just upload again and reset it that way if anything does go wrong so anyway I've pasted the URL in there I need to get that second background position and that's for email here yep. copy back into my notepad plus control V on my keyboard and the last one here and it's the same but URL on the end so let's go back over here and find that one and that's here look so you're just looking for these tags okay guys um, last one here let's wrap this up so copy the URL control V on my keyboard I've pasted that in create a new line or a new paragraph and get that last background position in and copy minimize control V on my keyboard now I need to go to file save now I can close notepad plus okay we need to go back to our FTP client need to refresh the files here look so that you get the updated style sheet and then I need to find that style sheet here the CSS style sheet which is here look and I left click and I right click and then I left click on upload and that'll ask me if I want to overwrite which I do and that's it as of now I've incorporated all these BrightMe CSS changes into my theme okay and into this plugin obviously so just be sure what you want to do then is go back to your WordPress site again and just go to um, performance you should have set up W3 total cash by now if you went through my blog post you would have anyway and just clear your cache quickly empty all caches here look I go back to your website and reload it and just check that no images are out of line or anything like that and then you're done 
so mine's looking good I obviously need to change that one back but that's something I'll do after I'll just come down and check that nothing's gone wrong with this widget which it hasn't so the only problem I've got there now is that if I add another widget that background's going to be out of line but I'll worry about that at another time to be honest but that's how you incorporate CSS sprites or combine your image into CSS sprites and then combine them into your or incorporate them sorry into your website okay guys what I'll show you as well just before we wrap up here is if we go back to Google you'll see as well that I've had another one I can make a sprite here and again I go through the same process okay I'd click make sprite I'd export that as CSS that'll give me a new CSS file open up here and you would go through the same process that I just showed you okay these non sprited images are they can't be sprited by this application basically I think they can be sprited I don't know how you do them without this little tool but yeah anything that says make sprite you can sprite them okay now let's just go back here and retest my page and we'll see how much better it's improved. So I was Google page speed 77 and Yahoo why slow 84 I think it was. So it won't be a huge difference but every little helps guys okay you want to ideally be at least a B grade. Okay so we're 79 and 85 so it hasn't gone up a great deal but obviously I've got more images that I can still combine okay. So again this is in the blog post for you guys. This is a great little tool and you can go through here and if you click on them and go to what does this mean and then read more you can find out about all these individual things and find out how you can optimize your website better okay. So we'll wrap it up there guys, I hope you learned something, that really did take me a long time to work out, so I'm glad to be able to share that information with you okay, so Ricky Quinlan signing off.